Welcome back to our new episode of Dry Tech News. We know how digitalization is important today, especially for machine builders. And I would like to mention shortly our dry simulation tool, Synavix Dry Sim Basic. With simulation, you can identify issues early in the development phase and you can test the behavior of your system before ordering any hardware or products. That saves time, reduces testing efforts and as a result, shortens the development phase and lower the cost. Dryson Basic is the first step towards creating a digital twin of the drivetrain. It's a generic model of the drive which is validated against the Synamics runtime. This guarantees that the drive will have the same behavior in the real world as in the simulated world. You can imagine Dryson Basic as a function block a so-called function mockup unit and it's available for most G and S type drives and it can be imported also various simulation tools such as SIMIT, SimCenter MSIM or MATLAB SIMIT. The simulation can then also be connected to NX MCD to visualize the mechanical movements. And with the new version 104, the speed controller is now available for vector mode. Now you can simulate the speed controller of G-type drives even in more detailed way. We have also new Profidrive Telegrams 20 and 352 and additional parameter implementation such as reference stock. We are frequently releasing new versions and the next version is coming in May. We have also now auto tutorial videos which you can learn step by step how to create your digital twin of your drives. Download Synamix Drives in Basic for free on CIOS, where you will find more detailed information. For questions, please write to digitalization.drives.cms.com. And now I'm handing over to Chen Wen for G120X. Would you like to know how to easier set up your Synamics G120X with a PLC? Then you cannot miss to check our new updated Synamics G120X basic setup add-in for tier portal v17. In this new add-in for tier portal v17, we included four new faceplates for common used application functions, including fly restart, boost, automatic restart, and skip frequencies. And what's more, we also do some improvement to our existing faceplate. Like in the I.O. configuration faceplate, we now include a new macro 158. And in the I.O. setup faceplate, we now include two new motor options. The 1LE0 induction motor and the 1PH8 synchronous reluctance motor. You can now download the add-in and find the instruction document on sales. Pebble, could you share us with more news about Simul Gear? Last but not least, I have gear motor news for you. There is new way of selecting and configuring Simotex motors together with Simul Gear gearboxes in the selection tool. Here you can see portfolio selection of Synamix Simotex with Simogear gear boxes connected with gears adapter. Simply dimension and select the right motor and gearbox for your application. On the right side, you can see thermal utilization of each product itself, but also for the combination. When selecting the option motor mounted to gearbox, you can see in the right bottom corner one complete solution instead of two separate products. You can simply order the product combination via the industry mall. The TIA number can be found as a separate nameplate placed on the geared motor system for the future identification. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next episode.